starters. Uh, one of a million more racial fights. Always get a feeling that I won't see now. Now what? Never could pass. Look in my eyes. I'm on the rock. Hi guys, I'm Reina from Hero Rider. Today I'm going to teach you five in-depth tips on how to maintain your e-scooter. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up for this video. Thank you so much and let's check it out. <laughs> okay, first of all, the number one tips is to keep your scooter clean and lubricate the parts. To clean your scooter, I would recommend micro microfiber cloth and of course uh, maybe you can get a spray bottle like mine put some uh, soap and water and this will can help you clean your, clean your scooter clean To lubricate your scooter, I recommend using something like WD-40 or any other type of multi-purpose uh, oil or lubricant you can lubricate on your suspension or and also your folding mechanism. Tips number two: check your tires. Okay. okay, if you are using pneumatic white, uh, wheels, I recommend you check your PSI every now and then. Okay, this help you to uh, prevent your tires from uh, getting flat. Okay, if you if you do know the where's the PSI uh, level to follow, uh, you can always check the indicator from the tires. They will show the PSI level over there. And you just follow and you will be safe and good. Okay. For solid wheel riders, I will just recommend check your check your uh, tire track. If they are getting slippery, just give a change. Uh, same goes to the pneumatic wheels. If your outer tube is getting slippery or the track is getting thinner, change them. Okay, tips number three, tightening screws and change perishable items. As you know, when you ride your scooters over time, screws on the e-scooter tends to loosen over time. I recommend tighten all the screw and nuts that you can see and you can find on the scooters. Apply Loctite if this screw tends to loosen themselves over time. To have a more rigid stem, you can adjust or tighten the screw holding the folding rubber piece. You can also replace the rubber piece wherever needed. Okay, number four, brakes. There's two common uh, brakes that are using in the uh, electric scooters. There's drum brake and mechanic disc brake. Let's find out how to maintain them. Before you ride your scooters, I recommend do a check on your brakes. If you do not know how to tune your, tune your brakes or tighten the, the brake cables, follow the link above your tissue. For mechanic disc brakes, I recommend change the brake pad every 500 to 1000 km range. Okay, also depend on your scooter. If your scooter is a power scooter, they can speed up, up to around 60 km per hour. I recommend change them regularly. For drum brake user, if your brake is not working, I recommend to tighten first. If it's still proof that it's not working, I recommend change the whole drum. Get from your supplier and change them. It's easy to change and we'll provide a video soon to change the, the drum brake. Number five, the battery, which is the most expensive part of the e-scooters. So we have to give extra care on this battery. Just fully charge your scooter if you are riding in. It will not significantly harm your battery lifespan if you are a frequent rider. For long term storage, it is best to keep your scooter at 42% to 50% charge. The most important tips for the battery is the charger. Always use the correct or recommended charger by the manufacturer. Please do not use any other rating charger for the Swiss scooter, even though it fits on the charging port. This will cause damage to the battery and even cause hazard. Hi everyone, that's all for the 5 tips on how to maintain your e-scooters. 
If you have any question or you have other important uh, tips to share, please comment below. If not, give a thumbs like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much and there will be more video coming out soon. Starters, starters, uh, one of them a million more reach those lights Always get a feeling that I won't see nothing that work